Uh, my name is Gary Clintworth and I'm a CPA. I've had my own practice, um, a finance and accounting consulting practice for about seven years now. And uh, I hired a partner in October of 2007 and we've grown to about 15 employees. Uh, most of our work is technical accounting, um, SEC reporting, and um, also audit preparation for external audits. And um, <clears throat> we have about 30 to 40 active clients right now. And um, it's the, the work that we're doing is a lot of fun, but a lot of work. We're primarily focused on the technology industry, which is great here in California and Silicon Valley. And um, we've been doing a lot of IPOs lately. So the, the marketplace is active. Um, everybody's constantly reinventing themselves here. Here in California, it's kind of a micro economy, even though uh, everybody thinks that the uh, economy's down. Uh, a lot of us don't feel it here. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We have a lot of employees right now that are, uh, that are part time, um, not by our choice, because if we could take, if we could replicate them and take, uh, you know, 40 hours a week of their time, we'd, we'd love it. But uh, <clears throat> what, they're, what they want is a work-life balance. And that's, uh, you know, there's a lot of talent to pull from in terms of uh, getting really good people that want to, uh, that are stay-at-home moms or they just have other obligations where they want to be challenged but they want to work part-time. And uh, that part of our workforce has worked out very well for us. So uh, with our workforce right now, um, there's, uh, there's plenty of people to tap into out there that um, are very talented and uh, they want to work a flexible schedule. And um, you know, we work with them on that because the thing that I want is I want the, the cream of the crop and I want the people that are going to be working hard um, while they're at work and making the most um, efficiency out of their time and, uh, and not getting burnt out. At the same time, I always tell them that as much as they can give me, I'll take it. Um, so to the extent that uh, they do have available time, I always make sure that they let us know. Um, but we've been very successful in, uh, in, in having that. As we grow, it's a little bit more of a challenge um, because we're filling in at the, the lower levels, uh, you know, at the staff levels and, and whatnot. The more experienced people seem to be able to manage their schedule better than some of the folks that are coming in. So, um, you know, our challenge right now is uh, realistically to be able to provide that work-life balance to, to everyone within the firm while at the same time make sure that uh, the folks that may not be used to that as much um, are as productive as possible. To date, we haven't done any recruiting. We've actually, uh, everything's been word of mouth. We haven't done any marketing either in terms of with our clients um, because sort of our brand name is out there. And uh, from a recruiting perspective, uh, most of our folks, uh, you know, they, they go out and, and they tell their friends and, and uh, anybody who's, who's really good at what they do within our space, um, you know, is, is looking for that, especially from the uh, public accounting firms where they're burning their people out currently and uh, some of the more senior folks um, are ready for some kind of a, a, li a life change. Um, but yeah, it's been really successful for us in terms of uh, being able to attract that talent and uh, being able to uh, run a successful business with, with those people involved. They're critical for us. Uh, you know, at times it's, uh, it weighs on myself and the other partner because we do pick up the slack. Um, but, you know, we went into business ourselves so that we could have flexibility with our time. And so there'd be absolutely no reason why we would expect, you know, all of our people, if they had, uh, you know, they had something, that, an obligation, or if uh, they wanted to work a flexible work schedule to allow them to do that. Uh, when it comes to millennials, we actually have uh, just started an intern program currently because uh, we're trying to we're trying to fill in um, some of the you know do some succession planning and make sure that we have the right staff to train um, and in the intern program you know we're finding that uh, it's not the same in terms of uh, trying to manage their time or deal with them as it is for some of the more senior people that may have grown up in a different time period um, but uh, you know I think uh, Changing management style in order to make everyone as efficient and effective as possible is, uh, is critical for our business. And uh, we're starting to learn that currently. 
So part, part of the difficulty of having a flexible work schedule is uh, making sure that the client knows ahead of time as to what commitment that that person can make. And to the extent that that's not the right person, you know, we go to make sure that uh, we find the right person. And quite frankly, um, if we're tapped on resources, we're never going to take on a project that will tarnish our brand name in the marketplace whereby we can't do the top level um, for them and we'll just decline the work before, uh, before anything else, before we you know, take on, on something that we know that uh, we're not capable of doing with the resources that we have.